You've heard of them, you might have seen him, but we've got a question. What do UKIP stand for? UKIP are the UK Independence Party. We're the new face of British politics. We're bringing around change, and if you want common sense politics for normal people, then we're the party for you. This is Jack Duffin, chairman of the Young Independents. And this is Joel. UKIP have been hitting the headlines a lot after winning the European election back in 2014. But they don't want to actually be part of the European Union. You call yourselves a parliament, and if you are a parliament, then presumably you, be you believe in rules. UKIP have two MPs in the UK Parliament at the moment. This guy and this guy. What are your three main policies and how are you going to achieve those policies? Well, three main areas are democracy, border controls and social mobility. With democracy, we believe we should leave the EU. Bring the power making decisions back from Brussels and put them in Westminster or at local government because the decisions should be made there by people elected by the British people. We believe in local and national referendums. If 5% of the population demand a referendum, then they should be given the choice because democracy should be about people making decisions, not just politicians. Democracy shouldn't happen every five years. People should be accountable to the people all year round. We believe in having border controls similar to Australia, like their point system in Canada and a lot of other places in the world because we need to look across the board when someone comes in and see if they can benefit the country as a whole. So looking at their job, if there's say a skill like working in NHS hospitals because we're short on nurses and staff, then they get more points. But if it's something like in the building trade or plumbers where we've got, already got an oversupply of people, then you get less points. And it's about balancing that up and making sure they're the right rounded person to come into this country. Okay Jack, how do we do it? So you'd start by work permits. If someone's got that skill we need. Catches the pass and goes to the one foot line. And it's skills, if someone's unskilled, we've got 1.97 million people unemployed. We don't need more unskilled workers. So it's balancing that up. Paying into the pot before you take out, because someone who's never worked a day in their life and come into this country shouldn't immediately be given lots and lots of state benefits. So by paying into the pot for five years, you then have the right to take it out when you need it. And thirdly, a criminal check. If someone's a convicted murderer or has serious criminal offences, we don't want them in this country because we've already seen the drastic damage it can cause to communities. So we believe that these are the ways we should run our countries and control our borders. But unfortunately, by being a member of the European Union, we can't do any of these things. So we need to leave to have control of our country. Social mobility is really important to me and it's why I joined UKIP. The idea that someone can go from working class background or a council estate and then achieve in life and get the very best out of it should be given to them through their education. How do you achieve that? Currently we've got an education system that's based on postcode and wealth. There should be opportunities for working class people because we should be given hope and the aspiration that we can achieve in life. So we'd like to see the return of grammar school. Not the same ones that we saw in the 1950s and 60s, but a new type with a 11 plus which is, looks across the whole board. It shouldn't be about one test. Let's look at the whole package and look for well-rounded kids who are gifted across the board. And these grammar schools aren't just the academic ones, they're technical ones as well. Because anyone with a skill who can flourish in life should be given that opportunity. So let's have a system that someone could hit 16, be fully able to then take up a company and run the company. Could be plumbing, where they've learned that skill from being at a technical grammar school, and then can go in in life and achieve something. So why should someone vote for UKIP, and what do you want people to think of when they think of UKIP? A vote for UKIP is a vote for change. If you're tired of the same old politicians that went to private school, went to public school, never done a day's work in their life and then suddenly think they're born to rule this country, and we're not about the spin. We're just giving truthful, honest answers. So if you want change, vote for UKIP.